Hi and Namaskar everyone. I am back again with another video. In this video, I am going to talk about MHR. There is nothing uh, significant research has been made in the terminology of changing the calculation of MHR. This is a reference point to calculate your maximum heart rate. Never it is said that it is 100% accurate but at reference point to understand what is the maximum heart rate. Because of the advancement of the technology, many people use nowadays smart watches, uh, maybe Apple watches, smart, uh, maybe Samsung watches, smart watches. It tracks everything inside your body, what is going on, how it, it tracks everything actually. So MHR is what? MHR is a reference point. And when you someone is talking about that something is outdated, that is can never be acceptable. Nothing is outdated based on the application, based on the requirement, based on the necessity and based on the comfortable comfortability everything is applied for example to improve your sports performance what you can do you can use camera to record your video high speed camera to record your video otherwise you can use your iphone to record your video to analyze the video some may go to a performance analyst to analyze their performance biomakers or parameters and there are many top level athletes without going or taking any such uh, high technology facilities they are performing based at their level because to avail such facilities, it is very much of difficulty and at the same time, the operational cost is very high and moreover, the application is very uh, cumbersome and a lengthy process. So this is a one day thing in a month and more specifically, when you are talking about this type of simple terminology to understand your heart rate and all, it should, it should be always easy so that it is always uh, can be understood or can be explainable or you can do it even though you doesn't have fitness sciences backgrounds fitness sciences background or sports science background so let's get into it before starting uh, first let me explain what is the scientific method the scientific methods and its application to understanding maximum heart rate why i am doing it first i need to explain the scientific methods the scientific method is a systematic approach used to investigate phenomena acquire new knowledge or correct and integrate previous knowledge it's it is characterized by the following steps first observation identifying a phenomena or problem hypothesis second step is hypothesis first is observation as i said second is hypothesis formulating a testable experimentation or prediction and the third is experimentation conducting controlled tests to gather data analysis for this analysis interpreting the data to determine if it supports or refuse refutes the hypothesis and fifth conclusion drawing conclusions and refining the hypothesis if necessary sixth is replication repeating the experiments to verify result and the seventh is peer review that means submitting findings to the scrutiny of others in the field of validation like sports science and force science nutrition and nutrition science medical sciences medical science or then performance sciences performance science like it's the topmost method which i have said seven steps there may be many steps, but these are the basic you should, you can understand by understanding this, it will help you to get everything into action. Now understanding maximum heart rate. Maximum heart rate, MHR, is the highest number of beats per minute your heart can achieve during maximal physical exertion. Understanding and accurately determining MHR is crucially for, crucial for designing effective cardiovascular exercise program. And traditional formula, the most commonly used methods to estimate MHR is the Fox and Haskell formula. That is MHR equal to 220 minus H. For example, a 30 year old would have an estimated MHR of 220 minus 30 equal to 90, 190 bits per minute. Limitations, this formula while simple does not account for individual differences in fitness, health, status or gender. Research has shown that these methods may overestimate MHR in women. Gender specific adjustments, research led by Dr. Martha Gullati has indicated the need for a gender specific formula for women. The proposed formula is MHR equal to 206 minus 0 0.88 times H. Again, I am repeating for women, MHR equal to 206 minus 0 0.88 times H. For a 30 year old woman, the MHR would be 206 minus 0 0.88 times 30 equal to 179.6 BPM. This is the maximum heart rate for women. This slight difference done by the specific doctor. This formula reflects the physiological differences between men and women, providing a more accurate estimation for females. 
Direct measurements, the most accurate way to determine amateur is through a maximal effort test conducted under medical supervision. This involves gradually increasing exercise intensity until the individual reaches their peak effort while continuously monitoring the heart rate. Again, this the test taken under the supervision of a fitness science experts or sports science experts or a medical professionals. Again, it is a comparison process. 90% of the people will not never going to perform this type of test until unless they are facing some medical complications. So this is the amateur for male and female, which I have said the traditional method and some adjustment for women. This is a perfect method which is easily applicable and people will easily determine their maximum heart rate in approximation. Practical application understanding amateur allows individuals to define heart rate zones for different level of exercise intensity such as zone 1 50 to 60 percent of amateur low intensity zone 2 60 to 70 percent of amateur maximum heart rate moderate intensity zone 3 70 to 80 percent of amateur high intensity i hope you have seen amateur written on the treadmill if you are working in a good functional uh, and with basic facilities and good quality treadmill then it is written on the treadmill not exactly may not be exactly how i am saying but it is somewhere around to it. Now zone 4, 80 to 90 percent of amateur, very high intensity and zone 5, 90 to 100 percent of maximum uh, heart rate, maximum effort. These zones help in tailoring workouts to specific fitness goals such as improving endurance or burning fat. Now I am coming to the conclusion. Using the scientific methods, researchers have refined our understanding of amateur, accounting for factors like age and gender to provide more accurate guidelines. This has practical implications for optimizing cardiovascular health and exercise efficacies. For cardiovascular health, amateur is one of the best or the best and for resistance training or sports specific training or speed agility performance based training or power training or strength endurance based training, RP rate of perceived exertion is the best methods which best method why I am saying it is easily applicable methods or easily identifiable methods to understand the capacity of your or the level of your training intensity. I hope you have understood the video. Take care of yourself, take care of your family members, take care of your friend and motivate each and everyone to do first exercise then follow a nutritious diet and enjoy your life with some outings, open open air outings and enjoying the life at the fullest. Take care, stay functional, stay fit, stay strong, healthy, mentally, physically, emotionally and socially at the same time. Bye bye everyone. Sayonara.